What's up guys, it's Chef Plum, and Elite Chef is in Kitchen Redemption Mode. Episode six, all of our eliminated chefs are coming back to fight for one spot. There can be only one in the finals with Dan and with Sherry, right now on Elite Chef. I feel really great to be able to have the opportunity to redeem myself. It was definitely cut short. I'm coming back with a vengeance, so I have that ultimate goal of just like, I gotta do this. I am very surprised that there's a redemption round. I feel really privileged to have a second chance. And I'm just going into it with the hopes that I can just pull out what I'm naturally able to do. I didn't expect a, a redemption round. It was a big surprise to me, and I'm pretty happy. I don't know what to expect today. I really don't, but I'm definitely going to do my best to get into that final. In competitions like this, you know, anyone can go home at any point in time. I'm lucky to be back today. We'll see what, if I can do something that will shoot me to the final round. Last week when I found out that there was a redemption round, I was pretty stoked. It's difficult for me to describe how badly I want to win, because I am competitive as hell. But if it doesn't happen, you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, but I'll be pissed. Chefs, welcome back. It's a pleasure to see you all again. We've missed you. Welcome to our episode, Redemption Kitchen. What's gonna happen this episode is that one of you is gonna rejoin our two finalists, Dan and Sherry, in the finale at Illicit Brewing Company. But in order to get there, we have to have a competition first, right? We gotta get there first. So I thought what would be a lot of fun is to talk about how important great ingredients are. My friend, the head baker and owner of Hartford Baking Company, Scott Kluger came and brought us some amazing breads from Hartford Baking Company. You guys have some baskets, taste them, try them. Well, Scott, tell them about the bread. So our bread is 100% uh, made by hand, mostly with just four ingredients, flour, water, salt, and yeast. Uh, we have a great selection of, of what we do here, uh, French baguettes, we have ciabatta loaves, we have sourdough, we have brioche, which is super popular. The fewer the ingredients, the better is what we say. Absolutely. And so guys, you might be wondering why we have all the bread on the table for you to taste today, right? Clearly, this has something to do with the competition today. But we're going to find out when we come right back with Lee Chef. At Eli's Tavern, we like to pride ourselves by having the largest craft beer selection. With 30 plus beers on tap, we always have a fresh rotation of local beers and limited release beers. Eli's Tavern in Milford, Connecticut is a tavern style bar where customers order more shareable plates, like our famous Philly egg rolls and our house made flatbread pizzas. Everyone from New Haven County to Fairfield County knows that Eli's Tavern in Milford has the hottest Friday and Saturday night dance parties, featuring the best DJs all over the state. Eli's Tavern in Milford, Connecticut on Daniel Street. Okay, chefs, I gotta introduce you to our judges. Seat number one on our judging table today is my good friend Patty Griffin. Gotta say hi to her. Hi, everyone. There you go. Patty is a psychic medium, just letting you guys all know that. She does shows all over the state. She already told me who wins, just letting you know that. At the head judging seat here at our table, of course, the head baker and owner of Harvard Baking Company, Scott Kluger. What's up, guys? And sitting here, Norwalk icon. I mean, guys, come on. You guys have to know Chef Matt Storch. All right, guys. In today's competition, you're going to have to use bread. I'm gonna have each of you select a type of bread to use in the dish that you're going to make today, all right? Tom, since you were eliminated last week's episode, guess what? What's up? You go last. Rebecca, you get to go first. Choose any kind of bread you like here. All right, Rebecca selected the sourdough rolls. Michelle? Michelle selected the multi-grain loaf. Mark? Mark selected the sesame loaf. John? John selected the focaccia, and that's gonna leave you, Tom. What do you wanna grab over here? Nice and done, a little baguette. All right, guys, this week's competition, you make whatever you want. You have 20 minutes to do it, but it has to incorporate that bread in some way, shape, or form. You ready? Time starts right now. Let's go. Chefs, chefs, chefs. Time out, time out, time out. Put your knives down, chefs. Put your knives down. I just realized something. This is way too easy. Everybody slide your bread to the right. So we're all gonna switch bread. Slide your breads to the right. If you're on the end, take it all the way down to the other end. Love you guys. Time restarts now. These guys are running all over the place right now trying to figure out what they're gonna make. The bread switch was something that they definitely didn't see coming. 
Tom's got this weight on top of his grilled cheese sandwich he's working on right now. What that's doing is adding heat on the top and pressing it down so that cheese melts faster. Chef, five minutes remain, five minutes remain. In five, four, three, two, one. Hands up, hands up, everybody's done, all right. Great job, guys. All right, guys, this is a blind tasting, so the scoring is one to 10. All right, you guys ready to do this? All right, ready. let's do it. Dish number one. It is a panzanella salad with plum tomato, grilled onion, sun-dried tomato, prosciutto, fresh basil, olive oil, Parmesan cheese, and it's topped with a poached egg and truffle powder. For me, panzanella is stale bread, so it can soak up the dressing and the juices. The bread's too fresh. It's a little soft. Balance is good, the acidity is good. I thought it was delicious. I would definitely order that in a restaurant. Number two is the sourdough rolls. It's a corned beef Rachel and a corned beef Reuben. The meat was good, it was, it was eating a little dry for me. Yeah. Upside down bun, it's kind of tough to keep it together, but texture's good. It didn't jump out at me. No. So, no. Number three is a ciabatta bread. They have a take on tomato soup with a grilled cheese, smoked gouda, pepper jack, sharp cheddar, bacon, avocado, and pickled red onion. The sandwich, you got so much fat going on. I know you got pickled red onion on there, but just maybe a little more acidity. Uh, flavor inside, the smokiness of the soup with the dip and the acid, it, the flavor's spot on. The avocado was a great touch as well. Number four is the whole grain bread. It's a classic Reuben with a pickled onion and cucumber salad. It's really well balanced, like flavors. It's really good. It's moist, like you said. The bread goes with it. This is something I would definitely recommend. Definition uh, of Reuben. Okay, wow. Number five is the French baguette. It's a prime rib sandwich with onions, fig mayo, goat cheese, and lettuce. The cheeses in with it were delicious. Yeah. Goat cheese and the fig definitely go to well together. They made a way to actually be able to bite through it, which is, you know, impressive, because baguette sandwiches are, are sometimes difficult. We're gonna add some points up and see who's coming back on Redemption Kitchen to meet us in the finals of Elite Chef next week. Chefs, great job. Uh, seriously, one of the closest judgings that we've had so far. I mean, you guys, the points is, I mean, Chef, tell them, the, the points are so tight. close. It was tight. Unfortunately, this is gonna be the end of the line for some of you. But one of you is going to move on to the finals at Alyssa Brewer Company to compete to win the first crown of Elite Chef. All right, Scott, it's time to go ahead and announce the winner and let someone know they're joining us at the finale. All right, guys. The winning dish going through to the finale is number four. Yes! <laughs> yes! I had a prediction that the first place winner would be Mark and the second place winner would be Rebecca. So I sent a message to myself who the winners would be and this is what I put. When I first wrote the prediction to myself, I didn't know Mark's name. So I wrote that it wasn't the pizza man and that it wasn't Tom and then I didn't know Rebecca's name and I knew it was gonna be the girl with the gray sneakers that would come in second place. And I sent that to myself at 106 today. Mark, tell us about the dish. The dish, it was just a classic Reuben. Classic Reuben sandwich with a little, uh, Onion and uh, cucumber salad. I didn't know we had plates that big here at Tavern. Yeah. So. You didn't, so I had to cut it in half. <laughs> <laughs> so Mark, congratulations, you're going to the finals. We'll see you next week at Lisa Brewing Company to see if you can get the crown of Elite Chef. Big shout out, you guys. you guys. You all did a great job, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Patty, we appreciate it. Scott, thank you so much. The bread's fantastic. Chef Matt, thank you again so much. Congratulations, we'll see you guys next week on the finale of Elite Chef. Congratulations, guys. congratulations. Sherry and Dan are great chefs, and uh, going up against them head-to-head, -head, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge. See you next week. <laughs>